Hello, welcome to another episode on uh, mechanics. And in this uh, tutorial, we want to have a look at dynamics, which is uh, the second aspect. The first aspect was statics, where we have a full tutorial on that, about a 40 something episode. Have uh, the next is going to be dynamics. So let's look at the scope of what we need to expect in this series of tutorial not especially in this episode so we are going to start with explanation of the concept of motion time and its space then we talk about we state and use the newton's equations of motion to solve simple problem then solve a simple problem involving motion which is under a gravity then find the force up an inclined plane and finally apply the principles of conservation of linear momentum to solve simple problem on direct impact so this is going to be the scope of what these uh, tutorials a series of it is going to be and uh, in this episode as episode number one we are going to concentrate on the first outline which is the explanation of the concept of motion time and what space all right, so that will be our concern in this episode, very brief episode. Then in the next episode, we will tackle the second outline, which is going to be the Newton's equations and how to use it to solve what problem. My voice is a little bit rowdy because I'm still recovering from my chest pain. <coughs> so now let's look at some of the terminologies we are going to consider when we want to look at the first outline. Uh, motion which is basically what the mechanic aspect we are taking uh, it is the change in position or direction of a body or a system the change in position so if a body is placed <coughs> can i have a, a body here so if this body is placed here we are saying change in what position the position of this is here if it change the position it move from where it originally placed to a different place, then we can talk of motion. So get a change in position or direction. So you can see that if this is moving in this way, then I change the direction, or it is moving in this way, then we kick it and move in the opposite direction. That gave us the motion. Then we'll be looking at what we call dynamics. Basically, the topic is a it is a branch of physics that deals with the motion, that deals with this motion of bodies in relation to the force that causes that motion. It is just the branch of physics that deals with the motion of bodies in relation to the force. This must be applied in relation to the force that causes the motion. This is different from the kinematics. So kinematics is also dealing with the branch of physics that deal with the motion of body. But this one is not in relation to the force. The force is not being applied at all. But it's also referring to motions of body, change in their velocity, time, and displacement. That is kinematics, which is also concept discussed in what? Uh, mechanic dynamics. Then we talk about the distance. <coughs> Pardon me. It is the interval between two points in a straight line. Just like I play this here, I can easily tell the distance is covered when I get to that part. So here, we can have it to be a particular position as a first point, second point. So the interval between the first point here to the second point here is giving us the distance traveled by the object. So that's distance, the interval between two points on the straight line, which has the xi unit as well, meters. <clears throat> All right. Then we have displacement, which is more or less like a distance. But the displacement is also a distance, which is covered in a specific direction. When a direction is being defined, that becomes a displacement. It is changing the position, <coughs> All right. in terms of distance, 
but the direction is what being a used to describe that distance then we can see we have what a displacement so that means displacement also have the si unit of what meters so the number five is going to be speed it is the if we talk of speed it is also defined as the distance per unit time the distance per unit time or the time rate of change of distance so if you are looking for the speed it is the rate of change of distance per unit time remember what we said about distance the uh, interval between two world point on the straight line so looking at for speed is just the distance travel over time world taken looking at speed we also have what you call a uniform speed or constant speed when the rate of the distance is moving is changing with equal rate before the time then we can have a uniform speed or we can say a constant speed we also have what they call average speed if you're looking for the average it is just the total distance the total distance travel over total time taking that means if we have series of distance and we have a time allocated for covering those distances are given. Then we can have the total distance divided by total time give us what the average speed. Then we have what we call velocity. Both are changing just like how distance and displacement are the same, but they change with direction. Velocity is just the time rate of change of displacement. Just like this is what they define as distance per unit time. This is also displacement per unit time. The displacement is a distance, but in a specific direction. So if you have a direction attached to the distance, you have displacement. And that being used with respect to time gives you velocity. Here also we have uniform velocity or we have a constant velocity. That simply means the rate of change of displacement is equal with the rate of change of time. That is constant. We can also find what you call average velocity, which means average, the total displacement over the total time. That gives us what we have as the average this, uh, velocity. So we can say that it is either distance in a specific direction over time, which defined the displacement. The SI unit is going to be meter per seconds in this form or in this form, just like we have our speed. Both have the same uh, unit of measurement. All right. Then the final one is going to be acceleration, which is also the time rate of change of velocity. You can see each of them have one is defined in terms of another term that we have this uh, outline as the terminologies. So the rate of change of velocity with time give you the acceleration. Maybe in the subsequent episode, when we deal with the distance time graph or velocity time graph, we begin to see the visual representation of these uh, things we are mentioning, constant, uniform, average. We begin to see the visual explanation of that. But this is just a concept we are trying to lay in the first episode. So here we can also find what you call uh, acceleration is change in velocity. The change in velocity we fall time taking which has meter per second square because velocity is what meter per seconds. So meter per seconds per seconds that give us meter per seconds what square in this form or in this form. Here under acceleration we also have what we call <coughs> constant acceleration. We have a constant acceleration. The acceleration can be constant. We, we, we move into the motion, equation of motion. We begin to see when do we have acceleration being constant. Then we have what we call retardation. When the body is doing retardation, it means reducing the speed. The speed is what? Being reduced. Or the velocity is what? Reduced. Let me use that way. When the velocity is reduced, we have retardation. More or less like the body is approaching to stop. So when we talk of acceleration that is negative, then the body is being retardation. When acceleration is positive, then we have for uh, acceleration. I can put that way. That's the there's a motion or there's a movement. 
All right. So this just give us a, a clear picture. So let's say we have a point A and B, and we have our initial uh, point. That's the origin where a, a car is being placed to move in this straight line. So if the car move from here to point P or from uh, origin to point Q, we can easily find the displacement. We can see from here to here. Let's look at the P. From here to here, there's a displacement. The direction is moving to the right. So displacement. So we can find the displacement. Then as it is moving, time will always be moving. You know, as I'm talking to you, time is changing. Time does not stop. So that any action that is taking place here, the time is also moving. So as there's a displacement, I can easily tell by a measurement that there is a displacement according to time, with respect to time, then I can think of what? Velocity. So I can find the velocity from here to this place. <coughs> Pardon me. I think this uh, chest is pressing me down. <coughs> the same way, I can also find the acceleration of that body. The change in velocity with respect to time. I can also tell that from here. So all these concepts will uh, lay bare the next episode. Come back as we think uh, the Newton's law of what or Newton's equation. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share with somebody who is doing further mathematics or related mathematics or is doing or physics. Let them subscribe and come back for more.